All right, so I'm trying to use the phone a little bit different this time. I didn't realize, but the iPhone 6 has 60 frames per second, and I thought it would look a little bit more interesting. So, it's day 11. Uh, we did a little over nine miles today, I think nine and a half. Um, we went over Bear Ridge, and then we promptly ascended up Bear Creek Canyon, or at least that's what I think it's going to be called. It seems to be the most appropriate name in this situation. Um, uh, right below, what's the name of the pass? Selden Pass? All right, right beneath uh, Selden Pass. Um, we have two miles to Selden Pass tomorrow, and then we have to descend 4,000 feet to Mirror Trail Ranch. Um, I really want there to be a beer there. Uh, I'm really just craving beer and nachos. Um, I've been talking to Alex and Bill, and they've been craving salad, milkshakes, and beer. So uh, we have a little bit of a lining of objectives, but hopefully Mirror Trail Ranch has something of the above. Um, they also have hot springs there. But in order for us to get there, because we do have to deal with our resupply tomorrow, we have to get up in the, early in the morning. So I'm setting my alarm for 6 a.m. So today, uh, cool stuff happened. Um, right after we got up, we ascended uh, Bear Creek or Bear Ridge, which is like it is that giant ridge that I showed yesterday, and it ascends 2,000 feet above the Mono Creek outlet into Lake Edison. So anyways, we got up to the top of that and I was still able to get some cell phone reception. So I sent Joey a couple more uh, text messages because I do miss him just a, just a little bit. And uh, an older couple, uh, Bill said that they're retired, um, came by and I told them that I had cell phone reception and she asked me if I, she could send a text message for her to tell, I think it's her sister, that she's okay. Anyways, she's going to be, go that, that couple, they're doing the John Muir Trail, and then right after that they have one day to get to San Francisco to get to a wedding. And according to them, they want to come out here to be able to experience this because they don't live in this area, and this gave them the, the opportunity. I also found that right after we came off of Bear Creek, or Bear Ridge, and we came to Bear Creek. This is like the most beautiful creek that I've been able to see here in, um, I guess it's Sequoia National Forest, and actually most of the trip. It's a lot of granite slates um, that are just have water pouring over it. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and it's mind-boggling because you just don't see that anywhere else. Right now, I think I'm in, I don't know what meadow I'm in. I'm in a meadow. But it looks more granite. If you can't tell, I'm going to flip the phone around here so you can see. Um, we have a lot of just, just granite mounds. It's kind of nice because when you're rolling up your tent, it does make a big difference. Uh, I don't know, just it's a lot more cleaner. <laughs> and you just don't see stuff like this. I mean, this feels like it's, all, it's like asphalt. It's just rolling asphalt that you can just walk on. It's and but it's cool to the touch it doesn't burn you and yeah today's just a beautiful day um, out in that direction out over there is Selden Pass uh, that is an unnamed mountain not quite sure what it is and uh, yeah so it's been it's been interesting um, uh, to give a little bit more of an emotional update for myself um, I have to admit that I feel a little overwhelmed. Um, this trip was a lot more than I originally thought. But after talking with Joey, and I talked with Joey yesterday, and talking with Bill and Alex, I mean, they said that the feeling that I will have when I stand up on top of Mount Whitney is going to be incomprehensible. And despite missing out on the section of trail between Donahue Pass and Red's Meadow, I still feel that I've done the John Muir Trail at that point because I have done the section from Red's Meadow all the way up to uh, Thousand Island Lake. So in reality, the only section that I'm missing out on is about four miles. But we will be doing over 200, and I did calculate this out, we'll be doing over like 215 miles. And we're at mile, I think, 87 or so today. 
according to the John Muir Trail map that I have, we will be uh, at mile 100 for the John Muir Trail, and we'll be at the halfway point tomorrow. So that's a little bit, that does feel nice. That does feel nice. But yeah, um, I do have to admit that this trail is tough. Um, I really do like the uphills. Can't really deal with the downhills. I can't really deal as much with the downhills as other people. So yeah, but I'm gonna get through it because I have a lot of people cheering on for me. I know I have people at home. I have Joey. I have some people that are going to be hiking along next side to me. Um, I have Joey. Joey cheering me on. I have... Howdy! How are you guys doing today? Very good. Oh, it's just wonderful. <sighs> so, we got a couple of southbound jam tiers. Um, but, yeah. I have a lot of people cheering me on at home. I do have people cheering me on at the trail because there are a lot of other people doing the JMT here. So, it does help. It does help. But I will get through it. Anyways, um, just to show you the hikers. They're off in the distance. Hiking off. And we see, I do think that we see about, uh, I'd say, maybe 60 hikers a day. And a good portion of those are GMTers. And every now and then you do see somebody that's northbound that uh, is doing the PCT and our PCT through the hikers. Anyways, this is the end of day 11. Thanks.